happy Monday everybody. It is Vikings95 here. I am really excited to make this video. Uh, so obviously I know everything that I got because uh, it's all laid out. But basically I spent $79 total for all this stuff at the, uh, the Twin City Sports Card Show uh, this past weekend. It was a ton of fun. I guess I'll just put this in the back. A uh, ton of fun, and uh, basically it was my first time being recognized uh, ever, like in person, for uh, for being Vikings95. Uh, so shout out to you guys who, who did, uh, you know, see me and communicate with me a little bit. Uh, it was a ton of fun being there, and uh, I really enjoy it, obviously, and I keep going back. So hopefully I'll be going to pretty much every one the upcoming months. Uh, I think it's like every month or so, like every three weeks or four weeks or something. Uh, but it's a ton of fun, and I really enjoy just, you know, talking, communicating with the other collectors in person. It's it's awesome. Uh, but let's go through what I got for $79. I believe there's like right around 40 cards here, and so I think I got some great deals uh, a lot of the cards, there's very little that's going to be like PC, but a lot of them I do, I just like, and so I keep them and I bought them. So it was a lot of fun, but let's go. We'll start on this side. Uh, the first one really, really used to love this so much. This, uh, this brand tops triple threads. Uh, this is a Matt Ryan tops triple threads, 35 of 36. And so, you know, it's uh, from 2012, back when Topps was making football cards, and it is just beautiful. Uh, it's an awesome looking card. That's why I got it. Uh, we do have a couple uh, that I got. One of them is PC, this David Montgomery. I don't believe I had this uh, red parallel of him, so I believe his name was Tarek. I'd like to give you a little shout out for finding this for me, man. Thank you for making the deal with me. Uh, and I also got this Steve Largent out of 80, 24 out of 80. The Ronald Jones Rookie of the Year Contenders on card auto. And then the uh, Hakeem Butler, the flight parallel from Unparalleled. So, uh, Tarek, shout out to you. Uh, it was a lot of fun doing business with you, and I, I'm glad to have met you there. Uh, but here we go. There's a Quincy Anunua. That is a beautiful Vertex uh, on card auto, 96 out of 99. Well, look at that. You could go this way too. You want 66 out of 96. Uh, just kidding. But that is a, uh, a cool looking card from 2017 Vertex. Quincy Nunwa. Uh, Majura. Vertex. Great brand. So got that. I did get some Iowa State cards. Uh, someone did hook me up. Uh, I bought like the majority of my lot last video. Uh, basically he found out I was an Iowa State fan. He set aside some Iowa State stuff for me. So, uh, definitely appreciative of that. I got an Abdel Nader, uh, contenders draft ticket, uh, sticker auto, but still, I remember I watched him at Iowa State for quite a while. A George Niang, who is he on the, what? I want to say the Pelicans or I honestly, I might have just butchered that. I don't follow NBA, but I watched him a ton at Iowa State. He was a beast at Iowa State. Uh, a lot of fun to watch. So I got an auto of him and then, uh, the mayor himself, Fred Hoiberg, with an on-card auto from 95, uh, from Classic. So, I, uh, you know, I got a couple, these are, aren't typical, my Iowa Staters, but I didn't have a Fred Hoiberg autograph, and seeing that, uh, set aside for me, I had to get it. Uh, so it was pretty cool, along with these two as well, who I watched play all throughout college. Um, so we got a impeccable Brian Hill, uh, for the Falcons out of 49. And I mean, some of these cards, I just love the look of the card. Like, Impeccable is obviously an awesome brand. Uh, so I picked that up. This one I'm super fond of. It is a Leaf Trinity 2014 Devontae Freeman. It's one of the acetate cards. Uh, so you got the auto. Obviously, it's see-through. Uh, it is beautiful. It is such a cool card. And like you can see there, it's like the acetate plastic. But it's so, it's just... It's very unique, and so I'm going to actually throw that one in the back. Very unique looking card, and it's awesome. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, found this. Felt I should pick this up for the price. Past and present. Corey Davis, 6 out of 10. Uh, so you got the Western Michigan uniform and then the Titans. Uh, nice patch there. Honestly, just, you know, short print is always cool. And uh, Corey Davis is a decent wide receiver too, so... It was fun. 
Greg Olson, oops, Greg Olson, Rookie Threads, uh, saw this and, you know, Greg Olson's, uh, still playing, which is impressive. Um, who is he? Is he going over to Seattle now, I believe? Am I thinking the right guy? Uh, I think so, but Rookie Threads, Greg Olson, this is event worn from, uh, I believe is, uh, doesn't say for sure, just says event worn, uh, but I would assume the rookie premiere. Jadevian Clowney, 51 out of 99 from National Treasure. Thought it was another cool card, another brand I really like, National Treasure. Uh, rookie Reflection, this one just had a chunky patch, so I picked it up. Uh, 2 out of 10, Rookie Reflection, Kiki Kuti and Jaleel Scott uh, from Illusions, is 2018 Illusions. So we'll see if Jaleel Scott ever picks it up uh, or not, but 2 out of 10, so super short print there. Another one I just got because of the chunky patch. And because of the blue ink, I thought that was so cool, or turquoise blue, whatever. Uh, this is Jeremy Langford, Radiant Rookie, uh, Rookie Patch Auto from Spectra. Beautiful looking card. Uh, it is numbered 47 out of 50. You guys are going to see a couple other Spectra cards of not big name players, but I picked them up because I like the look. And then we have the last one of this pile is the Edge. Uh, we got Edrin James, a now Hall of Famer, 46 out of 50, winning materials. Uh, it is going to be game used as well, which is always better than player worn because it, it was actually worn in a game, uh, not just, you know, for an event or something. So let's go to this pile, the stack of one touches. Uh, a lot of these aren't crazy, but, you know, I thought they were cool, and then I get an extra one touch for them. So uh, this one is Tremaine Edmonds, a rookie auto from Majestic. Another card that I just think looks cool. Majestic's a brand I enjoy. Uh, so 2018 Majestic and Tremaine Edmonds is not bad. So it is number three out of 299. So we got that one. We have Panini One, which I picked this up because it's ironic. Um, basically, I got this, star this card for, I think, less than $3. I mean, I buy a lot of these in like bulk from one person. I think I bought from two people. Uh, so... Two people, all of these cards, uh, $9 from one and then 70 from the other. Uh, but this is Panini 1, 43 out of 49. It is Dion Kane. And it's funny because Panini 1 just came out. And so this card is from 2018, 2019. So last year. And uh, basically, someone paid $100 or $125, whatever the markup was at uh, NLCS, to to pull this one card from Panini One, and a year later I got it for $3 or less. Uh, so it's just ironic that uh, that, that happened, but, you know, kind of funny. Uh, you get a nice case out of it and a cool card on card auto as well. So it is sweet. We have HaHa ha Clinton Dix, 3 out of 49, a rookie auto here. Another one that I was just like, you know, kind of cool. I know he's a Packer, but it comes in a one-touch, so that's a win. And then these ones, I love the the next few you'll see. It's all Obsidian, uh, but basically picked them up because I got a one-touch out of them. I'll probably swap out the cards, but also getting the, uh, the numbered cards is pretty cool. So we got Aaron Brooks uh, right here, 2 out of 75 Ultimate Collection. I'm sorry about that, guys. My video just kind of cut out, but uh, that last one I got was Aaron Brooks, 2 out of 75, Ultimate Collection. Nice-looking card of a uh, an older quarterback. I don't know if a lot of you will know who this is if you're in the younger generation. Uh, but then we have some Obsidian. They all came in one-touch cases, and so that was really the incentive, and I do love the look of Obsidian. We got Fletcher Cox. That's going to be numbered out of 100, 14 out of 100. We have Sam Hubbard with the pink parallel out of 75, 51 to 75. Jaleel Scott, going to be 64 out of 75. And then we got a Plates and Patches, Devin Funches, bunches of Funches, uh, 17 out of 50. And that's actually going to be a little bit thicker one touch, which is awesome. Because uh, I did not have enough one touches lately to fit in the regular cards. I'm, I'm slacking, so... Uh, there are two of the piles. Here's the third pile. Uh, a lot of fun ones out of here as well. Uh, that one on top is one of the favorites that I got. Tevin Coleman. It's a Vertex. It's just a beautiful looking card. Uh, difference Makers. And it's numbered 19 of 49. 
uh, from 2017 Vertex. Just beautiful. I think I'm going to be putting that back here. Uh, is another one of my favorites I got. It's funny, it's Devontae Freeman and Tevin Coleman used to be playing together uh, for the Falcons, but uh, let's keep it going. This one, I couldn't help myself. It is a flawless Matt Jones. Not a big name, but four out of five. Super short print Matt Jones from Flawless Rookie Auto from 2015. Had to pick it up. I mean, three less than three dollars or so. I I couldn't help myself. Um, but then we have a, another one. I just impulse bought Dion Sims, a rookie patch auto from Spectra. It is the gold parallel, so it's gonna be numbered to ten. Uh, we got nine out of ten Dion Sims from 2013. So again, not a big name, but oh well. This one, you guys can see the dirty patch. That is so cool. Uh, you got, I already know it's game used. Uh, we got authentic jersey there, but it does say, uh, right here, game used jersey card. That is so cool of Eddie George. Uh, so just seeing the dirty patch is, uh, kind of makes your day. You know that that was used in an NFL game because it's got legit dirt on it. Uh, so this is SP game used edition from 2003 so that was a one of my favorite cards again that i picked up i did get a hakeem butler so hakeem butler a rookie pat or rookie jersey right here 63 out of 75 i don't believe i have this one yet uh at least i haven't checked so cool looking hakeem butler card that is a pc pickup right there i saw these and had to have them adrian peterson got the fat head from scorecard or from uh the it is score it is a scorecard uh out of 499 at 119 out of 499 this is just a dollar but you know ap fathead and then another one all pro adrian peterson score 2010 gold zone so this is going to be out of 299 216 out of 299 uh the next few i thought maybe i might send this over to pc87 or something got jordy nelson joe flacco and felix jones can be numbered 41 out of 49 uh, cool little card. Obviously, Jordy Nelson is his uh, collection, but not bad winning trios, SPX. I have a couple of these, and they just look cool. Uh, so there again, I'm just buying because I think they look cool. Here is 184 out of 299. Game used Brian Erlacher, one of the best linebackers I've seen play the game. Uh, just a really nice card. I mean, it doesn't say not... Not from any specific game event or season, but it does say authentic game used on the front. So I'm going with the front. It is a beautiful uh, Bowman Sterling card. Uh, chunky patch here. We got 29 out of 50. Freshman fabric, Jaleel Scott uh, for the RPA from 2018 certified. Just a chunky patch I couldn't pass up. <laughs> Oh man, this I almost bought these just purely because of the joke, but we have the GOAT. Nathan Peterman, Radiant Rookie from Spectra. We got two. We got the blue and the green. The green auto actually looks pretty sweet, uh, but chunky, chunky patches. 15 to 25 over here and 26 out of 50 over there. Honestly, it was just kind of funny. But, you know, Nathan Peterman, the greatest of all time, greatest of all time quarterback. Just kidding. Uh, but some cool looking cards regardless. Uh, Spectra, obviously I do really like Spectra. And then the last two, uh, Andre Johnson, Royal Expectations. This is really cool. It's from 2003 Gridiron Kings. So this is actually from the Rookie Premier, uh, which is just Kind of blows me away because Andre Johnson's already retired. Uh, and uh, this is from 2003. This is from quite a while ago. Card's in great condition. And uh, it's just a really nice looking card in general with the, with the jersey right there. So I thought it was cool. Authentic game worn or event worn jersey. And then the last one we have is a Inception. It is a Topps Inception. Giovanni Bernard. RPA out of 150, and I missed Top's Inception in two as well. I, I just thought these cards looked great. Uh, so there you guys have it, 2013 Gio Bernard Giovanni. Uh, nice chunky patch, sticker auto, but it is, uh, it's just a great looking card. So there you guys have it. That is my, uh, that is my $79. 
Uh, I think $79 well spent. I got some sweet looking cards. I got a couple of PC pickups. Uh, you know, got the Montgomery and I think I threw the other ones in here somewhere. I got that Butler right there. Uh, we got those other Iowa State autographs. But there you guys go. I highly recommend if you can and have the pos or have the ability to go to card shows, I would recommend it. Um, it's a ton of fun. Everyone around there. It's kind of just like my place. Uh, you can just hang out and, you know, it's all about collecting. And there's people trading, buying, selling. It's just a good time. Uh, and it's it's a ton of fun. So I hope you guys have the ability to do that. I know some smaller towns don't. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy living through me a little bit with seeing what I got for with my money. Um, but with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, throw a like down below if you did. Uh, if you're not subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great week. I'll see you later.